Hi everybody. This is a video for my youngest flute player friends and their band directors. Thought we would talk for a minute about putting the flute together. Something that I find a lot of flute players do, especially young kids, is they hold their flutes like this and like this to put their flutes together. This is actually really bad for your instrument um, because when you're moving with your hands on the keys, it is actually really bad for this mechanism. So when you're putting your flute together, it's best to grab the body of your flute up at the top so that your hands are not touching any of the keys. And likewise, same thing at the bottom. I'm gonna put my hand around the bottom of my foot joint where there are no keys. And then I'm going to carefully twist it on. Now, a lot of flute players like the look of this. And I understand, um, but you actually can't really hold the flute that way. So you wanna line up this mechanism here, this line, this rod, with the middle of this key. That's where you want it. Now, when you're putting the head joint together, same thing. Keep your hand up here so that you're not twisting on the key mechanism. And then you get your head joint in as so. Now, when, when I adjust my own head joint, this is a personal preference, but I like to look at my inline keys, which would be all my keys except for these two. I don't know if you can see these two keys are offset. I like to line up the inline keys with my embouchure hole. Now, a lot of flute players like to be rolled slightly in. That's fine. If kids feel more comfortable that way, um, it might give them a little more control when they're first learning to play. Um, how I do that is I actually look down my flute from my foot joint. I, I get, a, get a look at these keys and then look at the outer edges of my embouchure hole, which I'm right, you know, here and here, to try to get these edges in line with these keys. Something else that I find is, actually it's not even just little kids, lots of students, when they practice on their own, their head joint can be way too far in, way too far out, and they don't even necessarily notice. So my suggestion, actually this was my friend Linda's suggestion, I don't know if you can see, I've actually taken a Sharpie marker and I've got a slash on my flute body, which I'm not sure if you can see, and I have a slash on my head joint. So, and this was a mark that I put on there on a day that I was feeling great with my practicing. I marked it, slash, slash, so that when I put my flute together, I just line up the markers that I made for myself. It's actually a lot easier um, than fooling with it every time. Um, I find it's a lot, it provides a lot of consistency for kids. If you put that mark on there for them, then they just line it up and they don't have to fool with getting this perception themselves. Um, it does wear off as time goes on, so you're going to need to check with them and make sure that they can still see it. I've had some students where the mark lasts months. I've had others where they come back in a week and it's super faded. So I uh, hope those are good suggestions for you with putting your flute together. When you take your flute apart, do it the same way. One hand up here, one hand down here, just like that, so that you're not grinding on your key mechanism.